So last night, I posted a link to a Portuguese paper. Po Portuguese paper that was talking about the fact that the Paulo Bernardo deal looks as if it's been done. If you didn't see the link, if you click onto the homepage, oh look, there's the very first video, the Celtic, very first Celtic video I, I did on this channel 14 years ago. And it was when Neil Lennon was made manager for the very first time. Yes, I was on the steps. And it's funny because there was only around about... So I don't know, about 50 to 100 people there that day. But anyway, if you haven't seen the link uh, from last night, uh, you click along here on the community tab, and then you get, there is a poll where I did ask further down. I said, uh, do you think the Jota will be back? There's been 872 votes, 74% say no, and 26% say yes. But above that, later last night, 10 hours ago last night, I did big, big, big Paulo Bernardo news. It's a done deal. And if you click onto it, it does ask you if you want to leave and then it comes up in portuguese but i have if you have google chrome you can translate it into english benfica and celtic to negotiate the permanent sale of paulo bernardo the clubs are still looking for an agreement regarding sharing of the midfielders transfer fee so that's a future sell-on clause a bit like what they did with jota and and when and it's interesting because when you read down into it after the success with jota who was loaned by benfica Bought for the following season for 16 million euros and sold for 30 million euros. Celtic are looking to repeat the recipe for success with Paolo Bernardo. The midfielder was loaned to uh, loaned to the Reds and the Scottish club. That's a bad translation. Uh, the Scottish club have begun negotiations to purchase his transfer. To this end, Celtic are willing to pay a fee around about 5 million euros. The two clubs are currently discussing how they can divide the transfer rights of the young Portuguese international when a sell-on clause. Therefore, it is certain that Benfica will keep part of Bernardo's pass, whose last season played 34 games, scoring four goals and made three assists. That's interesting that they, uh, just, it's just a bad translation from Portuguese into English. Therefore, it's Benfica will keep part of Bernardo's pass. It basically means it's a selling clause. That's it. It's nothing to worry about. It is just a selling clause. Um, ended up celebrating winning the title and the Scottish Cup. So there you have it. That's the news that is coming out of Portugal and it's come, it came out of massfootball.com. I O L. So that is the, that's the news that came around about last night. Now the ongoing transfer saga of the summer is obviously the one that is uh, involved with Adam either Celtic obviously put a bid in, well allegedly put a bid in for four million, and they have rejected that. And it's then spent about a week where Celtic have contemplated putting in a bid of around about six million. Last night, the sporting director of Norwich at, at a fans forum for Norwich fans said that they, he said to their fans that he wanted to keep Adam Ida. Uh, sporting director, um, I seen this on Twitter last night actually, um, although Celtic are set to launch a six million pound bid, their sporting director did say to a fans meeting that Norwich were keen to retain the striker, despite heavy links to Celtic. He's a fantastic player and he's got a lot of goals in him. He's a full international who's homegrown and come through the system here. He's the exact type of player who excites him. But it's been alleged yesterday that Adam Ida has finally decided to open his mouth to Norwich and say, look, I want to leave and I want to go to Celtic on a full-time basis. It's as simple as that. He knows that he's not going to get this chance. You only get a chance like this once in a lifetime. Um, it only comes around. that There's very few times that Celtic would go back in for a player after they've been knocked back by either the club or the player himself. The fact that Adam does want this to happen, um, he knows he knows exactly what it's like to play for Celtic and he's got a lot of family and friends that obviously support the club. Oh, Celtic Can Celtic get the done deal this week for £6 million? pounds plus add-ons for the player and maybe maybe a transfer clause put in also um that they get a percentage of any sell-on clause if there is any because let's face it the celtic are renowned well recently for sort of selling on strikers i know they did make money with edward and players like that but in recent times we haven't really have we but anyway moving on for that that's absolutely fantastic news coming out but there is obviously conflicting news coming out of Norwich, but I think that deal will get done 
also now there was there was another funny thing went on last night and that was the fact that when you remember back to last season when you remember back to last season and celtic were in a bit of a, a muddle when it came to defenders and we brought in nat phillips from liverpool as an emergency loan player uh, just until the christmas until we got all our players back now liverpool have since put the player up for sale yes that liverpool have slapped a price tag now sit down and i know it's early in the morning and you might not have had your breakfast or if you are drinking your coffee or eating breakfast put it down just at this moment because this video does go out at nine o'clock in the morning and there's a lot of people watch it around that time so put your coffee down just now so you don't spit it out because liverpool have slapped an amazing price tag on nat phillips yes the player that done so fantastically well at celtic eight million pounds yep i said that eight million pounds liverpool won eight million pounds for nat phillips who's uh trans and poor are looking to sign this the, the, the. The 27 year old spent the first half of the season liverpool have rejected a bid of four million from a turkish site for nat phillips including add-ons liverpool valued the defender at around about eight million also strong interest from a number of championship clubs including burnley eight million pounds for that phillips is liverpool done, done that mind you if, how could they want eight million right let's think about this they want eight million pounds for nat phillips but they want 15 to 20 million pounds for the goalkeeper let's play second for all what's going on with football down there what is going on it's 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 no wonder i never watched english football but my goodness they've turned down four million pounds for nat phillips and they want eight million and it's only part of the celtic news this morning because he did play at celtic last season and, and let's feel it he was let's, let's say he was a complete flop at Celtic. Anyway, I hope that cheered you up a bit this morning. It's a bit crazy news. Um, there's a couple of other. The Peter Van den Vendel Jensen uh, transfer is um, that one doesn't want to go away, and it looks like that might come to fruition. Um, there's a lot of conflicting stories out there this morning again with regards to that. And then you've got to look at some of the Scottish media headlines. Yes, the Scottish media headlines. Even though behind the scenes that things are starting to ramp up at Celtic, and I did say that I think Paulo Bernardo probably is in the country, um, but you've got to look at the, the, the Scottish the Scottish media headlines for Celtic this morning. Celtic transfer patience won't last forever as fans <laughs> that built Brendan Rodgers' kitty want to see it spent. Uh, anything to have a dig at Celtic really isn't it it's just anything to have a dig at Celtic at all which I just found it was quite funny this morning now it's 12 it is all good and dandy getting the Paolo Bernardo deal done and getting the Adam Eder one done it's not bringing in any new faces to make the squad better is it and that was one of the big things that Brendan Rodgers spoke about at, towards the end of last season is making the squad better and um, we haven't really done that yet. We're just we've been linked with players that were already we already knew were in the pipeline of coming back to Celtic. Players that were on loan last season. Surely Celtic need to go out and strengthen the squad. I mean, we, we all know that Celtic will have to get rid of some players. The goalkeeper situation. Will Celtic really spend eight million pounds on a goalkeeper? Will Celtic really spend eight million pounds on a goalkeeper? Will Brendan Rodgers get his way? These are all questions that will be asked over the coming weeks of the Celtic transfer window and pre-season at Celtic Park. There will be a live later on this afternoon, a bit like the same as yesterday. It'll probably be around about four o'clock Celtic Park time, um, just to get an, an afternoon update on any transfer activity and speculation that has went on this afternoon. And it's always good to try and get people from different parts of the world on the lives when we do them at different times so make sure that you have subscribed to the channel and if there is any breaking news you know for a fact that i'll jump on a live straight away and on that note have an absolutely fantastic day celtic fans all around the world Let roll up to the party roll up roll up to the party roll up to